in Federal Way, Washington. Hey, Dave, what's up? What's up? Hey, not too much, Tom. You know, I love the show, but I don't want to take away from this important, uh, salient and accurate point you're making. Okay, it, authoritarianism and um, or fascism, whatever you want to call it, this tendency around the world is directly linked to climate change. And, and frankly, you know, we as liberals have, have acquiesced on a lot of things to conservatives in America. Like, for instance, we don't um, want, as a nation, we don't want people to immigrate here. We would rather them be individually displaced near their point of origin. And we, frankly, have indi- we have climate individually displaced persons in America. A lot of people in Washington come here from states suffering these droughts. But anyways, Tom, I know for an absolute fact support your point that I could even name names. There are certain uh, military authorities that sabotage the whole Arab Spring. And you say, you might say, well, why? Well, number one, um, all right, in Iraq, in Anbar province, we, uh, they, they had an experiment with democracy, and um, we sabotaged it for the good of, of Baghdad, the authorities in Baghdad. Then, um, this whole idea of Barack Obama being the first African American president, uh, all of a sudden they wanted him to, um, you know, uh, follow the rules and have Congress dictate everything. So we inadvertently sabotaged. The, we did not support any democracies that were attempting to to bloom and blossom around the Arab world. It just wasn't. It was deemed not in our conservative national interest. And then, as far as um, you know, these, uh, it, you know, it's, I don't know where this is going to end up. I mean, I saw an article over the weekend where they were um, saying that year, uh, Belarus is years away from taking, having the ability to accept Russian uh, tactical nuclear weapons. Was Cuba, Tom, was Cuba um, in the 1960s years away from right. accepting Russian tactical No, these are, these are tactical they, nuclear weapons. They, all they, in order to accept one, all you have to do is have a place to park a truck. Well, and they were talking about Wagner <laughs> and what's going on. Tom, and the, point, the, the point I'm trying to make is this, Tom. Vladimir Putin knew exactly what he was doing. He was winning, but it was a long plan. And he, as all dictators throughout history have shown, they don't have patience. Yeah. Everything that's happening to Russia is the fault of one man, the greed of Vladimir Putin. Yeah. And, and who knows where this is going to end? You know, this from. thing with Prigozhin I mean, over the weekend, I find fascinating, Dave. I have been saying for some time, and I, and I, in, in my last two conversations with, uh, you know, with our, our war correspondent buddy, uh, you know, over in in, um, in Kiev, um, I, you know, I was talking about how I believe that Prigozhin is so wired. I mean, you know, Wagner Group is running major operations in two different countries that are producing, you know, minerals and jewels and things for money, basically, you know, and, and raw materials for the, for the Putin regime. Uh, his military is very consequential. Uh, and my prediction was that, uh, you know, if it came down to uh, Soigu and um, I'm forgetting the name of the defense minister. Um, Gurizmov. Gurizmov, thank you. Uh, that uh, versus Prigozhin, the Prigozhin would pr- prevail. And sure enough, uh, Gerizimov was just uh, thrown out and replaced by a guy who's a buddy of Prigozhin's. What do you think of this, Dave? Well, Tom, I'm just, because I think you know, I think all your worldliness, do you think it is a good idea for any mercenary force anywhere in the world to have access to tactical nuclear weapons? Right. Do you think innocent people will not die? No, I, 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 think, I think what's going to happen, I think, you know, Prigozhin's 62 years old. I think he's positioning himself to be the guy who follows Putin as the next leader of Russia. And I think he thinks he's going to get there by winning the war in, in uh, Ukraine. And I think he, and I'm concerned that he might think he's going to win the war in Ukraine by dropping a tactical nuke on Kiev and saying to the Western world, I dare you. Well, well, maybe it's better to look at this and how I might be wrong. I criticize Flynn a lot because I know Flynn and Stone and all the little trolls around Trump wanted to have a big private mercenary army with, under Prince, Eric Prince here in yeah. America. 
okay, I might be wrong. Maybe they were right. Maybe it would have been better to have some sort of mentorship of private mercenary forces in China and Russia by America. Dave might be wrong, but Tom, I, I don't, think so. don't think so. That's what we American. did. That's what we did with the death squads in El Salvador. We brought them to, to Fort Benning and trained them in techniques and then sent them back down there and they slaughtered their own people. I mean, that was, that was, you know, Reagan's huge error in the 1980s. Um, so, I, no, I think you're right, Dave. I, I, I think mercenary armies are something that the entire world should be rejecting. Um, governments need to be responsible for what's going on. And, I, you know, I haven't heard a lot about whatever happened to Blackwater, but uh, I know they're still out there, and I, I don't know what they're up to, but that, that troubles me, too. Dave, i got to run. Thanks for the call. It's 46 minutes past the hour. Picking up your calls right after this.